Cats. Aboard the number 21 Arctic Cat Racing Arctic Cat for Cataract Collision Racing. Your starting rider won his all-time leading 12th I-500 pole award of his career. Fifth so for Bob again. One, Troy DeWald. Also on that team. 47 years old from Flush, Michigan, Ryan Spencer. And last but not least, 27 years old from Gonvick, Minnesota, Gunnar Arlo. Ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a How you doing, man? What's that? Are you Troy, can you get one quick? Flag stand. Green flag wave and we're underway. Troy G. Wall down on the inside in that cataract collision. Arctic cat, the number 21. He'll push up slightly. Oh, one rider over off turn one. Already met. Trouble. Trouble on turn number two. That was it. On that 2,000 foot front straightaway, speeds approaching 120 mile an hour on the glare ice here at the I 500. Coming down the front stretch is Troy DeWald, the 21, Danny Mackey in the 34, Troy DeWald to lead lap number one. Yeah, DeWald up into that middle groove through turn one, Mackey down right on the bottom. <laughs> Should have come back on the racetrack. So, uh, you know, who knows? Wow. Possible. Uh, and look who's on the pit. In the pit. The Cataract Collision Racing Arctic Cat. Rider change being made. As we watch the pit stop here live on full racing. There's Troy DeWald looking over things as Gunnar Arlo and Ryan Spencer co getting collaborated there. Now Ryan Spencer jumps back, jumps on the Cataract Collision Racing Arctic Cat. So a pit stop being made there, that gives the lead back to that number 19, Tommy Bauer Racing Polaris. Yeah, Spencer on there, ready to do his uh, duty here at the I-500, so the rider change on the... Isaac Wolfgang, he's got 12-time I-500 pole winner, Troy DeWald. Thank you, Matt, here with the legend at the I-500, Troy DeWald. Uh, what can you tell me about that first set? You obviously were able to get to the front and kind of run away for a little bit there, and, and what did it look from your view? 
Uh, we're in good shape. But the, the sled's pretty good. You know, I was taking it easy, trying to stay out of the bumps, and obviously there's dirt on the bottom, so I was avoiding that stuff to try and save our traction for the end. And uh, we're set up for the end of the race, anyways. A lot of travel. So hopefully, you know, works good in the rough stuff. It's working pretty good right now. We're probably going to make a clutching change here eventually. It's, uh, we're, we're down on mile an hour a little bit, so hopefully uh, we, we can straighten that out and have something for them at the end. So you came in a little early, and I noticed you were holding something on the side of the sled. What was that all about? Oh, my side panel was flying off at one point, and that's why I lost a bunch of positions there. I had to kind of stop and get it back together. And, uh, yeah, we had a few little issues, but nothing major. So hopefully we keep this thing together all day, keep it running, keep it upright, and... Either at the end. Well, always a fan favorite, the 21 Cataract Collision Team, and uh, we'll be looking for you to see how this finishes up today. Thanks, Troy. sleds the airtime off that turn down in that turn four areas those sleds prepare to come down the long front straight away big gap with that number 21 machine he is pulling away currently there's something to be said about that clean air on the restarts A 45 second lap on that number 21 machine on that last lap around. Yeah, with the lineup now as they come down the front stretch. Man, that 21 sled is really putting a gap on the field currently. He has a very smooth line. <laughs> Send me out there and try to steal the lead lap on a track you've never seen as rough as fuck. You didn't really put you in a lot of sinker swim situations. Yeah, I was. I thought, yeah, I'll get out on the plow, 
get yeah. a feel for the track, no. see how it's developing. No, no. Yeah. absolutely Send not. It. And by the way, you're one down now. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Threw you right to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah give me one of those garbage and come off. Yeah. Right now, size. <laughs> They continue to ramble on here. Your leader in the Cataract Collision Arctic at the number 21. That is Troy DeWald. He started on the pole here at the 54th running of the GFL Environmental I-500. Yeah, he has definitely separated himself from that yoga tracing machine as he came out of turn two, making his way down the back straightaway. Definitely has the speed right now. Boy, that bunch. Polaris, guess who your leader is? The 21 Cataract Collision Racing Arctic This time, Ryan Spencer out in front. And look who's in second. <laughs> So here, some laps. there's three sleds on the lead lap. Here they are. The 21 Cataract Collision Racing Arctic Cat, Gunner Arlo, now at the controls. Second spot to the 29 DL Racing Polaris, Bobby Many behind the handlebars. And in third spot, the last sled on the lead lap, the number 19 Tommy Bauer Racing Polaris, Cody Bauer at the controls. Oh boy, here we go. Cross riders uh, really like to hang it out on the bitter edge out there. Gunnar Arlo, young rider, uh, certainly one of those guys as he, look at him, rocket down the straightaway here as he's got that throttle on that cataract collision Articat absolutely mashed. And it's interesting to note, Gunnar Arlo, of the three riders on that cataract collision racing Articat, he is the youngest by far, by 20 years, over the next oldest rider on the sled, Ryan Spencer. The four more rider change to have Troy DeWall finish it up. Boy, I'll tell you what, I think it, I think it would probably be, be based on the lap times and how how Gunner was doing, you know, in comparison to the rest of the field. And and I, well, I'm seeing it right here. Gunner Arlo is, is set in sail. So another, th I, another thing uh, that's uh, deck in front, but that's the dog fight for the lead here. The looks like Gunner Arlo is going to the... Go to the bottom side there. Oh, they made it three wide in a turn three and four, and Arlo takes the lead, coming out of turn number four. But here comes Joey Birch right back on the out inside in turn number four. My goodness, Arlo and Joey Birch going one on one here at the I 500 snowmobile racetrack. Well, I'll tell you what, early on, I think we all knew there was going to be a shootout here toward the end. There's just too many of these good, good teams and fast laps down. Look at the skis wave on Joey Birch and that 19 is still not done as he tries to catch Gunnar Arlo. What a move that was as he just absolutely took it in high and darted down low and went through to the lead. Off that here, that cataract collision, that Arctic cat right on his tail. <laughs> Trust me, he knows he's there now. Watch him as they go into turns three and four. Turn four has become a mess for these teams. As they'll work around traffic, and again, Birch gets sideways. Arlo has to hit the brakes before going into the backside. Now Arlo goes to the outside. They'll drag race down the front stretch here on the one mile in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Wow, it's scary down on that turn three and four. For those who look at their side by side now. Here we go as they race down the front straight. Gunner Arlo, he'll get around, he and he'll go away. under the bridge in the lead here. Down through one and two, Gunner Arlo and is on the lead now. That was your that was your 40th lead change of the day as Gunner Arlo, the Cataract Collision Racing Arctic Cat, out in front as Joey Birch is having just a heck of a time negotiating turn four. Well, we've what? had a roll reversal here now. We got from being chased to now being the chaser. Watch what'll happen down in that difficult turn three, four here. It's pretty rough oh, down there. Arlo got through there a lot smoother than Joey Birch, and he opened the gap in a hurry on that 19 Tommy Bauer racing Polaris. It was eight one hundredths of a second for a lead that time. They were practically side by side. Now six tenths. And 
and they'll be back down this front straightaway. As, what an absolute oh my gosh. scramble for the lead here. Joey Birch holds on as they three wide. They come down that front straightaway here to complete lap 473. Look at this as they and come down. look at Ross Erdman to the inside going down the front stretch by two one hundredths of a second. That cataract collision race. And here he goes Erdman. Erdman to the inside. He'll come on turn number four or two and give the lead back to the 19 Tommy Bauer Racing Machine. Ross Erdman, he was down on the inside and he had a lot of speed. He did. He'll push up the track. He's up into the burn. Erdman tries to come back. Here comes Great Joey race. Birch. Look at the air time Great of race. Joey Birch. He just absolutely lost. Now contact with Erdman. Again contact. Never seen the this. Contact down the straightaway. Everybody Never trying to. Never seen this. This is side by side. Holy cow, I think the 19 got it. I think the 19. Now big contact here. Boy, oh boy. As that was a big contact with that. that But you didn't have nothing left. No. You did not the whole front end at all, did you? Awesome. You have it everything. Proud of you. Good run. I know it sucks, but you did everything within your power, buddy. Good job, Gunner. Yeah, hell yeah. You did awesome. Racing Arctic Cat for Cataract Collision Racing, the number 21, now a 12-time 